Yeah, buddy. Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Leldrin. In this episode, we're doing the first of a nine-part series on the three different classes in uh, Destiny and their three different subclasses. So for this first one, I figured we'd start with the Hunter because it's the one that's the most near and dear to my heart. Uh, and I want you guys to feel free to leave any comments down below on anything that I miss. If there's any kind of thing that you disagree with, if there's something that you think um, I just don't cover completely, feel free to leave some stuff down below and maybe I'll upgrade and just do the, uh, or update and do the video all over again. So the first one I'm gonna start with is the Hunter, because as I said, he's very near and dear to my heart. Uh, Hunter is my favorite class uh, to, to be playing most of the time in Destiny. And Gunslinger is actually one of my favorite to use in the Crucible. So right now we're gonna check out the uh, the subclass list. Now, first thing on this list is you'll notice is the grenade. Now the incendiary grenade is not one of my favorites to use. What it does, as it says, is an explosive grenade that catches enemies on fire, causing additional damage over time. The one benefit to this uh, for strategy in the Crucible and in, you know, the normal world is when you catch somebody on fire with it, um, you can kind of see the damage ticking off and kind of see where their location is uh, as you're chasing them around the map, etc, etc. Now, it bounces around walls. It does bounce off enemies. It does not stick. It's not magnetic. It just kind of, you know, explodes and blows people up. Now, the second one is the Swarm Grenade. Swarm Grenade is actually very popular in both the Crucible and in PvE. It's a grenade which detonates on impact, releasing multiple drones that seek nearby enemies. So it blows up. It turns into a bunch of little drones, sort of like wolf pack rounds from the uh, old school Galahorn. Uh, and then it just swarms around people and blows up. And, and it's very annoying, actually, in the Crucible. Um, if someone's really good with the Swarm Grenade, if they're good with the how to uh, throw the grenade properly, that thing can be annoying as hell. And there's a third one, which is the one I like the most, is the Trip Mine Grenade. It's an explosive grenade that sticks to surfaces and detonates when enemies pass through its laser trigger. I like this because the um, Claws of Ahamkar... Not the Claws of Ahamkar, I'm dumb. The, uh, these right here. These arms here, um, the young Ahamkara's spine gives me an additional trip grind mine grenade and i like using that in the crucible because it's very good to control areas uh the it's also good to like uh put around corners and lead people in the traps the one negative part with the trip, trip grind mine grenade God, i can't talk tonight is it can be shot out of your hand to blow up and kill you also if you stick an enemy directly like throw the grenade on them and they come running at you you can also die that way so that's kind of annoying now the next part is going to be double jump and the jump for the gunslinger these are all pretty much the same the main difference is is the better control it upgrades double, ju double jump for better directional control while you're in the air. That just kind of makes it where you can kind of control your jumps. Uh, once you hit the jump button the second time for the double jump, um, it negates the motion you were going in the first direction. So, like, let's say you jump to the left and then you jump to the right. Normally, when you use, say, triple jump or any of these down, down here, you kind of still the for you kind of still doing. Oh my god, you kind of continue the forward motion of your first jump. This one makes it so that that's a little bit negated. You'll actually jump a little bit more controlled in the air. Second one's going to be triple jump. Triple jump obviously makes you be able to jump higher. You get a third jump. So it's uh, kind of like having the uh, Bones of EO. Uh, this is basically what it gives you is this gives you triple jump. And the last thing is going to be higher jump. Uh, it upgrades di double jump for even greater height. These two together, uh, you get about the same height. I believe triple jump gives you a little bit less, uh, but it gives you a little bit more control. Now, next thing is going to be the golden gun. Now, the golden gun is what everybody's known for. It's uh, for, the, for the gunslinger, obviously. It's the uh, golden penis, the golden hammer of bulletness. Um, you know, it's, it's a, you summon a golden gun, which disintegrates enemies with solar light. Now, initially, you just get three bullets, uh, and you can upgrade that with the helmet, the um, arch phase symbiote. Uh, and you get three, which will give you a fourth bullet. But you get three bullets that are pretty much a one-shot kill unless you're fighting a boss or an ultra. In PvP, it's a one-shot kill. The upgrade to that... Is going to be dead eye basically that significantly increases the actual golden gun what that gives you is a little bit of aim assist so even if you shoot near somebody it's pretty much going to hit them it kind of drags the bullet into your enemy so that you don't have to be a hundred percent accurate you just have to shoot in their basically their general direction maybe a, like within a foot of where they are standing third is going to be combustion this is one that i use a lot um, combustion c kills enemies with golden gun and it allows them to explode so like when you shoot somebody with golden gun they pop sort of like using firefly that's great in the Crucible when you're doing control or when there's a bunch of enemies like together. Because you can shoot one person, they will blow up and kill the person next to them. That's actually a lot of fun to use in the Crucible. And then last is going to be Gunfighter. This reduces the cooldown of Golden Gun, allowing it to be used more often. Basically, your super just fills up more frequently. Um, I prefer to use the Combustion. I know some of my friends that prefer to use Gunfighter. Um, because they just it pairs well with certain abilities and certain things that if you get a helmet that has like, you know... Uh, grenade kills allow you to refill your super more often or if you have a bad juju uh, the gunfighter can pair well if you have the right equipment because you'll pretty much just be chaining supers almost over and over and over again with a very little delay 
All right, so the third part is going to be your throwing knife. This thing can be... I know people that are ridiculously accurate with a throwing knife. Um, it is a one-shot head kill if you hit somebody in the face. Uh, body shot, you, you have to shoot them a couple times, and then you can hit them in the body and kill them. But it's one of the few that's like a ranged melee, and it's a truly a ranged melee. You can hit somebody from across the room and kill them with this, if you're good with it. The upgrade to the original just throwing knife is Circle of Life. Killing an enemy with throwing knife while Golden Gun is active extends the duration of Golden Gun. It does not give you an extra bullet. It just gives you more time to shoot a bullet, if that makes any sense. So let's say you have 30 seconds to use all three of your Golden Gun shots, and after you pop it, you kill somebody with a throwing knife. Um, now you have an extra 10 seconds. So it pops an extra 10 seconds on there. Uh, honestly, if I have Golden Gun, the last thing I'm going to be thinking about is throwing my damn knife. So I don't know if that's really worth it or not for anybody. If you like it, leave a comment down below. I've never really successfully used Circle of Life because I just shoot people if they're like near me. Next thing's going to be Incendiary Blade. This one I do use frequently. Throwing Knife catches enemies on fire, dealing additional damage over time. It's sort of like what I was saying up here with Incendiary Grenade. It catches people on fire. You can see where they're running to. Uh, and it does a little bit of extra damage. So it kind of, if you don't kill them with a knife, sometimes the, the dot, the damage over time, ends up killing them for you, which is pretty handy dandy. And the third part is Knife Juggler. Knife Juggler, precision kills with throwing knives, immediately resets its, cool, its cooldown. So if you get good with throwing knives... PvP, it'd be difficult to do, but in PvE, you can have just unlimited throwing knives. Just bam, bam, bam. And that's actually pretty cool if you um, pair them up with the sealed Ahamkara Spine, because then you end up with two to begin with anyway, or if you pair it up with something way over here, which I'll go over in a second. All right, now next is going to be the three for um, that have to do with your statistics, your stats over here, agility, recovery, and uh, armor. First one's going to give you more toughness and speed. Second one's going to give you more battle recovery and speed. And the third one gives you more armor and more uh, battle recovery. Okay, so I generally go with the Path Forbidden, which is battle recovery and speed, because I like to get out of there. Some of my friends run armor, because if you get high enough armor, you can resist a shoulder charge, which is pretty ridiculous to me, but it, I have friends of mine that do it. Uh, but I prefer to run the hell away if I need to, so I usually use the Path Forbidden. Okay, so the third part is going to be just some things that have to do with your, um, basically, playstyle. Scavenger, picking up ammo reduces the cooldown of your grenade and throwing knife. That's actually pretty decent in the Crucible because people do drop ammo in the Crucible. When you kill them, they drop regular ammo. And in the, in the real world, in PvE, um, you know, there's ammo all over the damn place. Second thing is Keyhole. Golden Gun overpenetrates and can damage multiple targets. That's the one I normally use because it's kind of like if you've ever seen Deadpool in the beginning when he kills those three people with one bullet. That's what Keyhole does. Instead of you shooting your Golden Gun, it hits somebody and blows them up and that's the end of it. It goes straight through them. So if you're doing a control match or, like I said, if there's people lined up in a row and use keyhole, it's redonkulous. You can kill two or three people in with one shot. And last is Gunslinger's Trance. Precision kills increase weapon stability stacks up to three times. <clears throat> this is actually really handy for most kills. Um, <clears throat> if I remember right, the perk lasts three to five seconds, um, and it stacks up to three times, which gives you more weapon stability. So if you get good with weapons, let's say you use something really high impact and really low stability, like you get a AS Luna with a <laughs> crap roll on stability you use this and you start getting kills with it it will increase the stability as long as you're shooting people now of course once you stop and once the perk runs out you got to restart it all over again so i've never really used it um in a really good way but if you have or you have any comments about gunslinger's trance leave your comments down below because i'm really curious to hear of anybody out there that uses that on a regular basis in either pve or pvp Okay, so last is going to be last of the or second to last is going to be another one of your statistic boosters. The first one's training focused on all attributes that kind of balances them all out. Training focused on toughness at all costs. That'll give you armor like a mofo. And third is my favorite, maximum battle recovery. Because uh, if I get shot and I hide and I run away with my high ass agility, um, my uh, hit points come back a little bit quicker than than slow, which is handy dandy. And then the last is going to be your last chain here. So you got chain of woe. Precision kills increase weapon reload speed. Stacks up to three times. It's sort of like Outlaw. Um, this is really handy with certain weapons. Like, once again, it's this is very um, equipment-oriented. I use this with weapons that have really low re um, reload speed because if you're getting, let's say you have a scout rifle or you have a pulse rifle that has really low reload speed but amazing and tremendous impact or stability, you can use this and it kind of counteracts the low reload speed. Like I said, it almost acts like um, Spray and Play or Outlaw. Next one's going to be Over the Horizon. Increases the range of Golden Gun. Once again, I've never really used this in a really good way. I don't know anybody that uses Over the Horizon. My Golden Gun seems to kill people no matter how far away they are and I shoot at them. Maybe it works good in PvE. Leave comments down below if you like Over the Horizon because this is one that I generally skip. I don't think I've ever used it, period. And then last is going to be Gambler's Dagger. You gain an additional throwing knife. Like I was saying, if you pair this 
with this over here, the knife juggler, like let's say this week in uh, Prison of Elders, it's um, melee kills give you more points. These two together, if you're good with your throwing knife, you're getting extra points over and over and over and over and constantly having a throwing knife. The benefit to having Gambler's Dagger with Knife Juggler is if you happen to miss a precision kill, because let's say a Vex or a freaking Taken teleports the hell out of the way and you miss your throw, uh, you get a second knife to kind of get your throw back. So that is going to be the Gunslinger Hunter subclass for Destiny. And my thoughts on uh, on the statistics and, you know, the different nodes and the nodules to use. Now, there are people that run different different stats and run, people that run different things. So make sure you leave your comments down below on what you think and what you use in either the Crucible or in the PvE. And tell me tell me what you think, man. Let's, let's share some loadouts and let's share for the new people because we're going to be having new people joining us in Destiny uh, soon. Now, I know a couple of my subscribers have been buying Destiny just to play with me and i'm gonna be playing with you hopefully this week my i'm like i said slowly but surely uh, i'm getting back to full health and hopefully i'll be able to sit up instead of laying down when i'm playing my damn games now so anyways that's gonna be my uh, gunslinger hunter subclass review for destiny now make sure like i said as always leave your comments down below but until next time this is lelder and signing off be sure to join me every single day same lelder and time the same lelder and channel and very soon for my live stream like i said my computer's being built as we speak and they'll be sending it to me as soon as it's done being built i hope uh but until then get out of here guys i got more stuff to do for you see you again soon bye